Hi, I'm Rob from Hobbs Inc. Thanks for joining me for another video beer review. This time I've got a kind of beer from Pressure Drop in London. It's a kind of the Saratoga Springs, a 5.8% ABV, double dry hop pale ale. This has been probably my beer of the summer, I guess. It's one beer that I've bought more than any other. Really enjoyed it. Um, Pressure Drop really kind of like up their game recently. Um, very much come back into kind of my sphere of kind of <laughs> interest. So, uh, taste notes you don't need to that hops, citra, and sabro. There you one. I like sabro. I'm gonna. I'm coming out as a sabro <laughs> kind of fan. Um, but it says yes, yeah, New England style pale ale with um, 16 grams per litre uh, of two of the fruitiest hop varieties, hazy, juicy, with a smooth, silky mouthfeel. Yeah, I've had a couple of cans of this already. Really like it. One that I'm kind of saddens me when I when my like my local shop sold out. It's really popular. Then I so I have to go and find it from other places every time I see it. I'm like, yeah, the camera out. Yes, I'm a big fan. I guess um, because they're kind of buddied up with Verdant in the experiment, which is in uh, Hackney Wick, a little bar. It used to be um, Pressure Drops Brewery. Um, I guess they get, get uh, for a while get a bit overshadowed by kind of the, the more sought after Verdant, but I think these guys are doing some great beer at the moment. So, beer in the glass, very pale, hazy, very hazy. I'm going to go in. Make it for months on the kind of on the hay scale. Uh, very pale, kind of lemon juice looking beer, pure white, ice white head to it. So let's give it some sniff. Check out the aroma. Oh, lovely! It's lovely. Oh, yeah. Um, elderflower, um, grapefruit juice, pineapple chunks. Yeah, tin pineapple chunks. There's a sherbetty note to it. There's a hint of coconut. That kind of floral edge of coconut. Elderflower as well. I mean, it's those, I think, getting those two kind of like things. That's probably the sabro. Sabro can kind of, the thick kind of coconut, but then also I sometimes get a kind of like slightly minty note to it. I think it does have a vague, uh, herbaceous quality. A bit of lemongrass. It's one that really gets the kind of saliva glands working double time. Smells great. Let's dive in. Cheers. I just so thirst quenching. I mean, it's a boiling hot, stuffy ass evening. And this is just perfect. It's so perfect. <laughs> First. You get lovely kind of, I'd say it's kind of, it's grapes and kind of white grapes and grapefruit and pineapple. Once again, that kind of elderflower kick. And then a nice whack of bitterness moves in. It becomes dry, quite floral, more of that lemon juice, loads of grapefruit, could be a lot more um, kind of orange, orange, no, a little lime zest. Orange pith, kind of focused. Mm. Keeps coming back for more. Yeah, this is it. Balance, absolute perfect balance. Juicy, fruity, innovative, kind of like modern flavors. Then bitterness. That's I mean that's that's the, that's the full, that's the whole effing show there. She getting. What beer's meant to be? Beer is meant to be about. Beer can be fun, it can be over the top, and it can be ridiculous, but when you just want to drink something, and they've got kind of. it needs balance. I know balance has become a, 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 a lazy term, but it done. It stops things going out of line. When I think a lot of, um, especially hazy stuff, has can become overtly fudgy and sweet and cloying. This certainly isn't. Mmm. I love it. It's just one of my beers, my favourite beers at the moment. Stunner, love it. So that is kind of Pressure Drops Saratoga Springs. It is a 5.8%. I see 5.8. It doesn't have to be 8%. 5.8% ABV. Double dry hop pale ale. Citra, Savro, love it. I'm Rob Morrison. And I'll see you next time. Cheers.